good morning everybody uh, we will be covering over a period of time the basic neurophysiology that is receptors which is part of the sensory division of the nervous system as you all know for survival survival depends on sensation and perception so what is sensation it is an awareness of changes in internal and external environment perception is the conscious interpretation of those stimuli so today's class we need to know what is the different types of receptor how is it converted to an action potential from a receptor or a generator potential and eventually the properties and coding of the sensory information which is based on Muller's doctrine and law of projection. So before we understand, we need to know what a receptor is. A receptor forms these are specialized nerve endings. That is what we have come to know. What are they? These are specialized nerve endings. So whenever we talk about nerve endings, the nerve endings are terminal bodies where the nerve fibers end in the periphery so the receptors functionally and these nerve endings can be motor and sensory so always the sensory receptors are specialized structure that are stimulated by environmental changes as well as by changes within the body that is external and internal so how do you define a receptor it can be defined as a terminal afferent ending that undergo depolarization in response to a specific type of stimulus. So we need to stress that it responds to a specific type of stimulus. And they are <coughs> acting as sensors in our body that can detect heat, pressure, stretch, acceleration, sound, light, smell, taste and other forms of energy. So it can be either general or special, both it encompasses. In general we have somatic and visceral. In special as we have dealt special senses, vision, smell, taste and audition. These are specialized from free nerve endings. They act as transducers converting many forms of energy into action potential. So what do you mean by this? They transform different types of energy into nerve impulses that travel through the sensory nerve fibers towards the CNS. So we need to understand that it is a specialized nerve endings and second point is it is a transducer. Where are they located? They are placed in the skin which can be simple or deep which can be or elaborate in the eye and ear. So the many classification, so it can be based on the type of the stimulus which can be mechanical, the touch, the pressure receptor or the temperature which is thermoreceptors which are sensitive to temperature, the chemoreceptors which are, which are sensitive to the chemicals in the body and the photoreceptors to the light, the sensitive to the light which are the rods and the cones. So based on the functions, it can be exterior receptors and interior receptors, external changes, internal changes and at a distance tele-receptors and proprioceptors. So what do we understand this? Whenever I talk about exterior receptors, they respond to stimuli arising outside the body. They can be classified into Tele receptors and cutaneous. Tele is smell, audition, vision. Whereas cutaneous, you all know, it can be due to touch, pain, cold, warmth, tickle, itch, and pressure. So, what about interior receptors? These receptors collect information from inside the body. They are found in the viscera and blood vessels. They are sensitive to chemical changes and also to tissue stretch and temperature changes. 
these anterior receptors can be classified into visceral receptors and proprio receptors the visceral receptors as you came in bp regulation the baroreceptors receptors the chemo receptors or the osmo receptor which which regulate the water balance and the proprio receptors which are the muscle spindle golgi tendon and joint receptors so based on the location it can be superficial receptors which are present the d for visceral and this is how each of them look like the free nerve endings which are the nerves at the d primary plexus and they form secondary plexus the end points are knob like expansions that's what you can see and whereas this can be expanded in like tactile receptors and the pecinin is like onion peel appearance they are lamellated like onion they have naked axis cylinder which ends in the core by arborization so for touch we have mottles and meshnes for pressure we have pain i mean for pressure we have uh, pecinin crozi and raffini for temperature golgi tendon for the length muscle and muscle spindle for the you will understand the the length of the muscle the stretch so let's see each of them the mechano receptors under which we have pecinin processes of lamellated bodies they are largest with 0.7 mm in diameter they are rapidly adapting so their functions are it absorbs the fine touch controls it carries sensation in the form of fine touch vibration and pressure the meshnes corpuscles which we have seen are as ellipsoidal lamellated connective tissue body with a soft central core where the axis cylinder ends in a complex manner they are located in the glabrous skin like the papilla of the skin just under the epidermis especially in the hands and feet only one per 35 square millimeter they are rapidly adapting and the functions are it carries vibration and touch sensations what about the merkel's disc this is what you have come to know same they are enlarged ellipsoidal they are present in the epidermis of skin these are ego dome receptors dome like they slowly adapting and they respond to touch and pressure along with texture what about raffini raffini are <coughs> the smallest slowly adapting and they tend to carry crude touch and crude touch and warmth these raffini are long cylindrical body axis cylinder ends in a flat expansion they usually carry the sensation of heat so that is the warmth the crozi the crozi are spheroidal connective tissue body where the axis cylinder ends in a basket like network in so it is present in conjunctive of the papilla of the skin it is supposed to carry cold sensation and they are rapidly adapting so the hair and organs <coughs> they both are rapidly and slowly adapting and they carry touch sensation the free nerve endings or the naked nerve endings these are nerves which form deep and superficial and deep plex secondary plexus they ramify among and the end points have knob like expansions so they are widely distributed throughout the body particularly the dermis cornea also found in the muscle fibers in tendons and fascia they carry pain sensation which there is no organized nerve endings they also carry touch where free terminals and skin and around air routes are believed to carry 
touch impulses there is also called golgi tendon which is very important like it carries kinesthetic impulses in the form of stretch tension and pressure so based on the different classification they can be based on the modality the sensory modality it carries the morphology the degree of adaptation whether a slowly adapting or rapidly adapting or based on the axon diameter and conduction velocities so this is the general one where the rapidly adapting ones are the touch and the pressure which is a mechanoreceptor which is located in the air follicle with a diameter of 6 to 12 and the fibrous a beta type the vibration sensation is carried by meshless corpuscle and pecinian with a diameter of 6 to 12 and the type of the fiber is a beta the conduction velocity is 33 to 75 meters per second temperature is by the cold and warm receptors the cold receptors are the one the end bulb of crozy whereas the warmth are the raffini the pain is carried by free nerve endings for fast pain which is pricking in nature is carried by a delta with a diameter of 1 to 5 micro diameter with a speed of around 5 to 30 meters per second whereas the slow burning pain and itch is carried by c delta fibers <coughs> char unmyelinated <coughs> this is how the general cutaneous receptors the meshners the lamellated onion peel pecinian the raffini with lamellated pattern and the free nerve endings with the knob like projections so what are proprial receptors as we came across the proprial receptors are what are they they are mechanoreceptors they provide the cns with information about the length of the muscle the position and the tension these are the information which is provided by sensory input from muscle spindle which is the receptor for the proprioceptors and golgi tendons we need to de- see the detailed thing about the structure of muscle spindle and golgi tendon when we study the flex these are receptors for general there are receptors for general proprioception the muscle receptor and the joint receptor for special proprioception we have hair cells of the vestibular apparatus so what is visceral receptors these are part of anterior receptors they respond to they are similar to cutaneous but they are lower in density and the sensation are poorly localized that's the reason when you have abdominal pain we cannot specifically specifically localize whereas a general vague pain we develop because of the poor localization the visceral receptors operate at subconscious level these include receptors for visceral senses like stretch receptors narrow receptors such receptors are the example for stretch are narrow receptors in the carotid sinus the free nerve endings for the visceral pain the carotid bodies which respond to the chemical changes whereas the osmo receptors respond to the osmotic changes in the hypothalamus receptors for special so we have general and special for vision we have rods and cones the organ of cortex which has the air cells for hearing the taste buds and the olfactory neurons with the bipolar cells for smell so according to the function which we came across as the teleceptors a stimuli they respond to stimuli which is away from the body the light and the sound the exterior receptors which monitor external environment the cutaneous sensation the interior receptors which are the visceral and the proprio receptors so according to the nature we have mechanical stimuli which are the mechanoreceptors 
which are the touch, Merkel's and Mishnas. For pressure, we have Presinian. The chemoreceptors respond to chemical changes in the body in the form of taste, olfaction, ferritic bodies which respond to changes due to oxygen and pH. The nausea receptors are the one for the noxious stimuli that is the painful stimuli whereas photoreceptors respond to electromagnetic stimuli and light. Baroreceptors respond to pressure changes particularly the blood pressure. The osmotic changes ones are osmoreceptors with thermoreceptors the end organ of Krause and Raffini with temperature changes. There is a difference between cold receptors and warm receptors. The cold receptors are A delta myelinated axons with a diameter of 1 to 5 microns, whereas the warm receptors are non myelinated C fibers with a diameter of 0.5 to 1.5 diameter, 0.2 to 1.5 micron. They usually fire at a temperature between 10 to 35 degrees whereas the warm res receptors respond to changes at the temperature between 35 to 45 degrees. The maximum frequency of discharge is at 25 to 30 degrees whereas the warm receptors respond between 38 to 43 receptors that is the maximum frequency of discharge but what is this paradoxical cold fiber discharge at 45 degrees celsius warm receptors stop responding but cold receptors begin to discharge this is the paradoxical cold fiber discharge that means at a temperature which is more than 45 degrees, the warm res receptors do not respond, but the cold receptors start discharging. So, we need to understand that based on the mechanical, all the different types of stimuli de and depending on the adaptability, depending on the function, depending on the general, whether they are general and special senses, we have different types of receptors so we will be dealing with so you can see how the cold fiber and warm fiber whereas the warm fiber starts discharging at 45 degrees once again this is called as paradoxical cold discharge next class we will be dealing about so we have understood what is a receptor. A receptor is a specialized nerve endings. It can be defined as terminal afferent endings that undergo depolarization in response to a specific time of the stimul physical stimuli. They are they are acting as biological transducers which convert information any type of physical to action potential any form of energy to electrical energy. Sensory receptors receive information from environment which can be internal and external. So we have various forms of receptors for touch. We have Mishners and Merkels. For temperature we have Raffini and end organ Krause, Krause. Then we have for, temp for pain we have free now endings. Then we have for proprioceptors which is the muscle, spindle and Golgi and joint receptors which is the Pessinian carpusel and also for pressure we have Pessinian carpusel which is a largest receptor and which is ideal receptor to study a receptor potential also called the generator potential and we have seen many types of functionality type of the stimuli the modality so with this so next class will be dealing about the receptor potential how it is where a non graded potential is transformed to a graded potential 
so we will be telling what is the initiation of the mechanism of initiation what is the classic properties of receptor so a little bit of muscle spindle where as we go to the next class so